Hi there. In this presentation, we are going to talk about style-based generative adversarial network or in short style GANs, which are a relatively new concept in machine learning. Style GAN is based on GAN architecture, which was introduced in 2014 and the goal of it was to generate artificial images which are not distinguishable from real ones. GAN images became more realistic over time, but still operate as a black box since the origin of the stochastic features is lacking and the properties of the latent space are poorly understood. The basic component of GAN is two neural networks. One is a generator that synthesizes new samples from scratch and a discriminator that takes samples from both the training data and the generator's output and predicts if they are real or fake. The generator input is a random vector, say noise, Therefore, its initial output is noise as well. Over the time, generator receives feedbacks from discriminator and learns to synthesize more realistic images. At the same time, discriminator also improves over time by comparing generated sample with real samples and making it harder for the generator to deceive. In order to improve GAN's images quality, the program model was introduced later on. The program used the progressive training method, it means it starts by training a model with a very low resolution image, say 4x4, and increase the resolution over the time. Although program generates high quality images, but its ability to control specific features of the generated image is very limited. So even attempting to tweak the input even a bit usually affect multiple features at the same time. In fact, the StarGAN was introduced as an upgraded version of PROGAN with only focusing on the generator network. To control the correlation between input features in StarGAN, the features are divided into three types, coarse features, middle features, and fine features. In the StarGAN architecture, traditional generator fits the latent code through the input layer. The output first maps input to an intermediate latent space. The mapping network goal is to encode the input vector into an intermediate vector whose different elements control different visual features, but here the model still must follow the probability density of the training data, which means if the image of the people with black hair are more common in the dataset, then more input values will be mapped to that feature. To solve this issue, another neural network is employed, and now the model can generate a vector that doesn't have to follow the training data distribution, and can reduce the correlation between features by using adaptive instance normalization at each convolution layer. Most models and programs among them use the random input to create the initial image of the generator. However, in a style game, the image features are controlled by a mapping network and the adaptive instance normalization. Therefore, the initial input can be omitted and replaced by constant values. However, it's not clear why it improves performance. This assumption is that it reduces feature entanglement. For training, the model randomly selects two input vectors such as A and B, and generates the intermediate vector W for them. Then it trains some of the levels with the first and the switches randomly to the other to train the rest of the levels. The random switches ensures that the network won't learn and rely on a correlation between levels. Although it doesn't improve the model performance on all datasets, this concept has a very interesting side effect like its ability to combine multiple images in a coherent way. One of the challenges in this model is to deal with the areas that are poorly represented in the training data, because the generator is not able to learn them and create images that resemble them. To avoid generating poor images, StyleGAN truncates the intermediate vector W by forcing it to stay close to the average intermediate vector which is produced by selecting many random inputs. In fact, the mapping network transforms W in a way that the value of psi defines how far the image can be from the average image to diverse.